Go ahead, Bobby. Well, Ms. Tandy, good morning. Good morning. It is so nice to be sitting here in New York City chatting with you about driving Miss Daisy because I have been in love with that property for some time. Oh. And uh, I looked forward to the movie, and I think it's just splendid. Oh, I'm so glad you feel like that. I, I have an enormous admiration for the play, and I think that, that uh, Mr. Yuri has translated it into, into, into a film so faithfully and, and kept all the best things about it. I was very pleased. It was wonderful to do. Did you ever play it on stage? No, I wish I had. I would have loved to. I would have been ahead of the game, <laughs> like Morgan, who had played it, of course, originally. But you did see it on oh, stage? Oh, yes, I saw it. I saw it a couple of times and loved it, loved it. Who was playing it when you saw it? Francis Sternhagel. Uh, uh, both times that I saw it, and uh, oh dear, I'm so bad at names. I'll, it'll come back to me. Julie Harris, maybe? Did you see? No, her? no, I only saw Frances. Uh -huh. uh, I saw her in it both times, but I can't remember who was playing Hoke. Oh, I, 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 and that's sh shocking because I, I admired him very much. It wasn't Morgan. No, it was after he'd left. Why do you think that, that you ended up with the role in the movie? Oh, I, I mean, just pure luck and Lord, the Lord was sitting on my shoulder, I guess, because uh, I, 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 that's a real plum of a part, and I'm very, very lucky to have it. I, I don't know. Ask everyone else who was doing the casting. I can't imagine why it finally came to me. Did you find Miss Daisy an easy and comfortable role to do? Um, comfortable, yes. I, I mean, I, I have great empathy for, for that lady, and it's written in so much depth that I really only had to pay attention to what was written on the page to find it all. And Bruce Beresford is a very, very uh, easy um, director of great taste, and I always felt that I could rely on him to, to make sure that I got it all. <laughs> Did you know Morgan before this? No, I never met him. No. They were all new to me. Was the film shot, as most films are, not in sequence? Oh, never in sequence, no. No, that's, that's, a, that's something that doesn't seem to happen anymore. Once in a while you hear about it, but um, the reason I asked that question is that the final scene is so beautiful and so touching. I wondered if maybe that wasn't done late in the run. Well, it was done late, yes. Uh, what, uh, we had to remember each day, you know, what, I, what age am I now? And which, which uh, makeup do I get into? But um, that one was left till the end, yes. In fact, the, both the, the two pivotal scenes, uh, the one when she's a little d uh, disturbed in her mind and the, the very end were done late in the film. And I, I think I asked if they could do that because I thought when I was completely in the skin of it, then it would be easier to do those scenes. What kind of relationship developed through the making of the film with Morgan? <laughs> Well, we, we had a sort of sympathy with each other right from the very beginning. I have admired, I'd never seen him act, but I admired it every day that I saw him. I, he obviously knew this character uh, very, in great depth. And he was a great help to me because being a southerner, I could go to him and say, you know, all right, what is this attitude now between these two people? And he could really, t he could really tell me and I could trust him. Uh, we had, a Canadi uh, we had a, an Australian director who would not know those uh, fine points. So it was wonderful to have Morgan there to, to help me. By the end of it, would you say that you were good friends? Oh, yes. or, uh, or was it always on just a professional level? I think we were good friends all the way through. I think you have to be, uh, have a, 
a good, friendly, working relationship. Otherwise, I think life is very difficult when you're acting uh, in front of a camera. No, we were a happy company. You have such a marvelous career and a career of longevity and <laughs> such great success. What are you most proud of about all these years? You know, you say, you say great success. I've actually had more failures than successes. There's been a lot of those too. But they, what am I most proud of? Well, uh, certainly streetcar. I was very uh, uh, happy to have that opportunity. It was a sort of landmark play and, and a, a wonderful experience. And I think uh, Foxfire I'm very proud of and um, Gin Game. Your Tony fact, Award winners. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but that, yeah, both of those I had a Tony for. Um, I've been very fortunate in somehow being at the right place, in the right place at the right time, and having these opportunities. I think that's been so lucky for me. Well, lucky for all of us who've enjoyed you all these years and will continue to enjoy well, you. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Tandy, thank you so much. And again, congratulations thank on you. Driving Miss Daisy. What a magnificent performance. Well, thank you. I'm glad you were pleased.